Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are talking about BSc Life Sciences Career Roadmap. Many of my younger friends from the bachelors have been demanding this video since long and they wanted to know from me that what exactly they should be doing, you know, in their BSc, how should they prepare for their future. So to help all of you with that, here is our roadmap for life sciences bachelors. Now, very interesting thing about this roadmap is this is going to be your guiding light throughout your bachelors. I'm to, going to share some very interesting uh, insights and uh, you know, out of the box thinking with you, thought process with you, which will remain with you throughout your life. So do not miss out to watch this video till the end because this video is going to be a game changer for your life. Are you ready? Shall we get started? Okay, let's get started. Welcome back. So here we are, BSc Life Sciences. Today we are going to discuss about the career roadmap and the first thing which comes in your mind about, you know, about career is, what's career? Is, is it, you know, something which is defined by the industry or something which I define? Well, without any confusion, I can say that career is something which I define for myself, okay? It's not that somebody will define for me that this is the path you should take. Of course, you should know all the routes but you should choose which route you want to go. So today I'm going to show you all the routes jiske madhyam se, jiske help se you can achieve success, but you have to choose one, right? So let me in the comment section which route you chose after watching this video. So quickly, I have eight things to share. The first is the truth of degree. The truth is your degree is useless. Yes, if you do not do other things which is highlighted in this video. Your degree is pretty much useless because every other person is also doing a similar degree. Sadly, our education system in the 20th century also is old style. And that is why there is a need of people like us who can tell you, who can make you aware, who can open your eyes that Bhaiya, jo kar rahe ho, dangerous hai. you have to fix this. Okay. The truth of degree is it has remained like this. The university syllabus never changes. You keep reading outdated things. And the day, the day you actually get into the industry, you like, Mere jaise to kitne clone khade hai, but kisi ko job nahi mil rahi hai. And then you all come to YouTube writing that there is no scope, no, no job. The truth is, dono hai, but uske liye sahi maina chahiye, sahi criteria chahiye, sahi uh, mindset say it. So now coming to the next part, build your competitive advantage. Okay. So when you go into an interview or when you go for a job, you see every other person is like you, like a BSc life science or MSc life science. Sab to aapke jase. To fayda kya hai? What is the benefit? So you have to build your competitive advantage while you are still studying in your BSc. And that is learn skill set. Now, what are the skill set you should learn? This is not a complete list, but yeah, it's a comprehensive list, which I'm going to show. The first is lab skills, very important. Technical skills, lab skills, very important. How to, you know, actually work in a lab. You know, you have to get to, you know, you should actually look at lab is like, that's your future office. Each time you go to a lab in your college, think that that's your future office and you're getting to, get, getting to know your future office before you, even graduate. So that's a great thing, isn't it? So that's a future office. So you should learn how to work in office, right? So you should know how to learn, you know, you should learn, learn all the lab skills, how to handle apparatus, how to be, you know, careful with the chemicals, how to achieve results, how to record data, how to, you know, um, interpret that data, all that you need to, you know, focus and learn. The next one, communication skills, very important. You know, that's something which is going to help you no matter wherever you go. Wherever. Kahi chale jau. US, UK, China, India, Europe, Russia, no matter where you go, as a human, you have to interact. As a human, you have to 
टेल पीपल क्या रिसर्च किया क्या काम करना चाहते हो क्या करोगे आगे सब बताना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू टेल दैट एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू हैव कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स नाउ यू कैन से कम्युनिकेशन स्किल क्या है मुझे तो आता ही है मैं तो बोल रहा हूं यूजिंग द राइट वर्ड द राइट टाइम विद द राइट फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन विद द राइट अप्रोच That's communication skills. अगर आपको कोई डाउट है इफ यू वॉन्ट लर्न कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स आई हैव मेड अ स्पेशल वीडियो स्पेशल कोर्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन चेक दैट आउट ओके सो दैट्स वॉट नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स नाउ वेन यू विल वर्क इन अ लैब यू विल हैव डेटा यू विल हैव टू प्रेजेंट इट टू योर सुपीरियर्स टू बी सीनियर्स और मे बी वट एवर यू नो टू योर क्लाइंट्स प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेनी पीपल लैक इट लाइक बिग टाइम लाइक कुछ आता ही नहीं है एंड दे बी लाइक मैंने तो सही बोला वाई पीपल डेंट गेट इट बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग इन यूर ओन वर्ड विच दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू आर प्रिजर्म प्रिज्यूमिंग देर देर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट दैट्स नॉट हैपनिंग सो प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्ड लर्न फोर्थ लर्निंग सो लर्निंग इज ऑल्सो ए स्किल यू नो दैट वेल आई कैन टेल यू दिस दैट ओके इफ एट योर एज आई से ओके लर्न बाय इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स यू कैन डू दैट बट टेन ईयर्स लेटर यू से नो आई डोंट know how to do it because i cannot learn you have essentially not practiced the learning skill for a long time so that is why you are not able to so if you improve your learning skills you can learn anything and the best part you are still young so you have a lot of time to learn and the moment you have learned the learning skill everything else become easier so this is a, i think one of the most important skill you should have now entrepreneur skills why why it is required while you are still in bsc because thinking independently thinking out of the box thinking uh, what nobody else can think that's what is research and that's what uh, entrepreneurial thinking is all about what nobody else can think about imagine you can do it that's entrepreneur you have the risk taking ability so now why it is need, needed here is why you while you still studying in bsc you are you have lot of time to experiment on newer things learn newer things somebody wants to learn german somebody wants to learn italian you know different languages you can do that so you have to be willing to take that risk that if i spend that money and if i learn something so you know entrepreneurial skills will come into picture next intrapreneurial skills when you whenever you will work you will always work under somebody okay say uh, in your college you will work under the teacher or the hod in your um, lab in future in your in your job you will work under some senior scientist or research scientist so what basically is happening intrapreneur intrapreneur is a word designated for people who work under someone and do it in a perfect way somebody who can take independent thoughts forward so that skill has to be developed okay next one team skills whenever you will work you will work in a team nobody in this world can actually work without a team for example right now i'm making this video there is a team behind this who will make sure that the video goes flawless to you right so that's where team skills is very 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 important okay so learning team skills like a group of five students working on a particular experiment and then achieving results recording data interpreting data and reporting data okay how do you do that with five people so learn that okay ask your teacher how can we you know learn team skills and practice that in your bachelors as well okay next one is very important competitive exam so yeah many students will say exam abhi to you know degree likh rahe hain see when you are doing your degree you are doing a useless stuff okay the university will just hand over a paper to you which has no value and no use after your graduation unless you have done the other things which we just now discussed so competitive exams is a very good add on to you so these are the competitive exams you can do one is cuet then you have csir net gate gre toefl and upsc these are the exams you can prepare for cuet for msc csir net for phd you can start preparing now itself because if you if you gain momentum that's where you can hit and get better results gate for your mtech gre and toefl if you want to go abroad upsc if you want to get into indian administrative services so these are the competitive exams which you can prepare for any one of them or two of them depending on your choice right so that's all about the first part of my video now coming to the next part which is personal branding very important go to linkedin make your profile network with people 
create your own brand write articles okay biotechnica conducts article writing contexts write articles be a thought leader of your industry tweet comment you know uh, participate in various um, competitions or debates or conferences present papers that you know you have to do your personal branding so that but by the time you finish your masters and you reach the hr somebody googles your name and they find out you know a lot of stuff about you so that's very important personal branding is very important next networking learn networking because when you don't do networking you don't know people and when you don't know people you don't know directions and when you when you don't know direction you think there is no scope so to know the scope you need to know the people and to know the right people you need to do, do the networking for example right now we know each other right so the first thing you can do is i'll put down my linkedin uh, link below send a request to me please network with me so that i can help you maybe in some way in your future so that's where networking is very important for a bachelor's student the next one build your own launch pad so okay suppose your interest is molecular biology or genetics whatever is your law you know focus area focus subject so start building on it start reading about it start new learning new things about it learning new skills about it and start building on the top of it layer by layer that is where by the time you will graduate or post graduate you will have enormous skill set which will be useful to the industry see at the end of the degree you definitely want to get employed and get a job but if you have done all this god will be always with you because you never give up all right so now the job hunt part which is okay so after bsc or during bsc also you can do dissertations and uh, summer trainings you can do internships you can definitely get a lot of entry level jobs fresher jobs or if you if your communication is good and you don't want to get into r and d you have sales and marketing jobs so this is about the job hunt now very interesting thing which i'm going to conclude now about the bsc life sciences roadmap for all of you and that is you see this roadmap is applicable only to those who are ready to learn adapt and make changes just watching this video is not going to help i urge you to start working on them okay chalk out a plan okay write it down remember just keeping a thought is of no use whenever you think write it down ki ha mujhe ye ye kaam karna hai agle 2 saal mein 3 saal mein and then accomplish it one by one keep accomplishing and taking it off remember with planning your graduation can be the best years of your life don't waste it in watching movies or cricket matches they will be there whole of your life better movies and better formats of cricket and uh, other games will come but these golden years will not come now here is the secret which i am going to tell you i built by technica when i when i was in my bachelor's will you believe that while all my friends were enjoying i coded i coded 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 and made this platform right where all of you are getting benefited imagine what you can do you can do better than me because i did that in 2006 you can do that in 2022 with better tools and better mentors better guides there was there was no youtube then like how it is today right so without taking much of time thank you so much for watching this video put down your comments below if you have, if you have any and any question any feedback any uh, thing you want to ask or learn let me know we'll do it for you only for you bye bye take care